guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today I'm doing a video all about eyeshadow palettes that I've bought and then never touched so I know this idea is a little bit kooky especially to people who don't really collect eyeshadow palettes or love makeup enough to actually have a collection but there are some eyeshadow palettes where like I'll buy them and I'll be like, oh, I'll do a video on this, or I don't want to use it until the video, or, you know, I'm waiting for a time that would be best to use this palette, or, you know, I'll buy it and then stick it in, like, a pile on my vanity, and then it'll move to my drawer, and then once it's in my drawer, I don't remember to go and look for it. So today I'm going to go over five eyeshadow palettes that I've bought and kind of forgot about and have never actually used. So before we jump in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this. And if you want to see any more videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So the first palette that I've bought and not even touched is one from L'Oreal Paris. This is a quad and this is in shade 110 Silver Couture. It still has the plastic on it. I haven't even cracked it open yet, but it's four you know one blue silver shade one black with like some shimmer in it a dark gray and then a silver honestly i can't really picture a look that isn't a completely dark smoky eye with this palette which again it is focused more towards that even if i'm going for a smoky eye i'm reaching for more larger palettes i'm reaching for palettes that i know work for me i'm not jumping into like a new drugstore palette because again i'm on the fence as to whether or not it's actually going to be good quality but on that same token, I don't know if it's going to be good or not until I actually try it out. So that's kind of been like the argument going on in my head ever since I've gotten it. And then eventually I just put it in my drawer with all my little mini palettes and then I never touched it again. So at some point I will either need to bring this out and actually use it or just declutter it. The next palette that I bought and then didn't even like swatch or touch is the Meat Matchmaker palette from the balm honestly i thought i was going to do a whole video on this palette i thought like it's new from the balm or at the time it was um it's supposed to be along with their meat matte line but this one has a combination of matte and shimmers and they kind of have like little duos for each combination overall it's a really cute neutral palette i just never <laughs> ever reached for it I didn't really feel inspired by it except for the two over here. It's like a nice matte black, which even you can find a matte black anywhere. And then this is like a teal. Ooh, that's actually a really pretty. Ugh, it doesn't swatch the best, but it's a nice like teal shimmer. So those are really the only ones that drew me to this palette. But other than like that swatch I just did, I haven't even swatched this palette. So eventually I'm going to have to do like a flashback or a throwback Thursday or something about this palette because it really is a shame considering the fact that I really do love the Balms formula. It's a shame that I never really actually touched this palette. The next palette that I've never used, it's actually still in the box. It's from MAC and this, ooh, let's not drop it. This is their Semi Sweet Times 9 palette. I got this back when I actually made my custom MAC palette with my boyfriend. We put together a bunch of green shades together. And while I was there, I also really wanted to pick up one of their pre-made palettes as well. Um, this was the only one that really got me interested and it really made me interested for like that trio right there. I love mustard yellows, I love yellows, there was a nice burgundy and then there's a matte black of course. I really need to bring this out, make it, I'm really trying to toy with the idea of doing like a palette a week series and really just get into using not only just my smaller palettes but with just my underused palettes because at this point I actually since my last eyeshadow palette like collection video I now have over a hundred eyeshadow palettes which I know it's a lot <laughs> but I love eyeshadow I love everything to do with it and just with the collection of that size some things aren't going to be as loved as others so I really need to do a better job of rotating my collection and getting to not only my smaller palettes but to newer palettes that I haven't even touched so I will definitely be pulling this one out in the near future and I'll just keep it like this I don't know why I kept it in the box <laughs> The next palette that I got is from Hot Topic. This was actually one that I really wanted to do a video on but never got around to it. This is the Moana eyeshadow palette. It actually still has the like plastic on it. There, it's got a cute little mirror up top and then you have all of your shades right here. 
I was drawn towards this because of the nice blue and green shades. I actually picked up a couple of eyeshadow palettes from Hot Topic and I think that was my downfall. I picked up too many palettes and I couldn't get around to using all of them and putting looks together for one video. If I had chopped it up and done like this one in one video and then the other palettes in one video, I probably could have gotten it out. Um, but because I was working on those other palettes, I never got to this one. And eventually I got caught up with other videos and I never got around to this one. So I really do want to do a video on this palette because it does look stunning. Again, I haven't used it. I haven't swatched it. I haven't touched it. I really need to bring this one out. Let me know down below if you'd be interested in either a video just on the Moana palette or if you want to see my experience with all Hot Topic eyeshadows. Not all of them, but I did pick up a couple of palettes. So last but not least... This palette I have swatched a couple of shades of, but I've never actually used it on my eyes. This is the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This palette is stunning. You get a gigantic mirror up top and look at all these shades. This is your go-to rainbow palette. You've got a couple of nice matte neutrals up here on the top. You've got literally every shade of green, pink, you had a couple of oranges, a couple of purples. You can do a wide range of looks with this palette. I picked this up thinking I was going to do a three looks one palette with it because it was on sale and I picked this up at the same time that I got the Zodiac palette but honestly the Zodiac palette stole my heart and I was really in love with it and I kept using that one and this one kind of got pushed to the side so I really need to bring this one out. It's again only been swatched a couple of times. I need to dig into these greens because they look beautiful and luscious. I need to dig into the yellows and the greens in this palette because especially for someone who loves green as much as I do to have a palette that has this many wide variety of greens and to not have touched any of them is a bit pathetic. <laughs> So those are all the palettes that I've bought and have not even gotten around to using it. Let me know down below, have you ever bought a palette, not even just a palette, like any makeup item and you've just never got around to using it? Let me know down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!